Hi, you're with Twilightish at the red carpet premiere of Water for Elephants in New York City. Stay tuned and we'll have some of your burning questions answered from the entire cast. Hi. Ken, Hello. yes. Hello. Hi, from waterforelephantsfilm.com. And we just wanted to ask you some oh, questions. Is that the fan group? Or? Yes, we are. Oh, hello. Team did, Rosie. Did, did you, yes, I see. Did, oh, yes, exactly, Rosie. Yes. Did you have a uh, party last night or we something? Did, we did. Yes, I was invited to the party. Oh. I couldn't come. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> How was the party? It was great. It was? Yeah? Time. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I'm with the real group. Tell me. What's going on, guys? Okay. We, we have the tough questions. Uh, no, nah, I'm ready. Let's, let's shoot it. Let's All right. Uh, Your character was pretty violent in the... In the... Uh, uh, wasn't he? Wasn't yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Mm. Did you like that? I loved it. No, <laughs> no I, 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 I did, of course not, but I had to do it, you know. Exactly. I did, so, yeah, it was the depression. Yeah. I had to eat. Yeah. And so if I, if I had to eat and someone had to go, they had to go. Okay, that was that was that was the the era. Yeah. So I had to I had to stick true to the form, and I did it. So yeah. that was it. And what was one of your most memorable scenes filming with Christoph or Rob? Uh, Rob, uh, I don't know if it's memorable, but <laughs> you know, I I we I had the scene where I had to pull Rob off of Christoph, uh, and Christoph was uh, stroking the elephant a little too hard, and. I had to take Rob out of the boxcar and throw him from the boxcar to the ground and I had to jump off of the boxcar onto Rob and then grab him around the neck and hold him back so he wouldn't uh, continue to try to get to Kristoff. And we did that scene I would say 15 times maybe and I got a little tired of jumping off that, <laughs> that, that box car, I tell you. It got a little, got a little old after about the seven or eighth time, yeah. but we kept doing it, and I kept doing my job. And so that was the only thing I really remember that was a little unusual. Yeah. Other than that, it was fun. It was, it was great fun. I mean, we had a wonderful time. Big epic, a lot of fun, a lot of people. You should have seen the extras, everyone. I, that was another amazing thing. All the extras, had their hair cut in the 1930s. Wow. So it was it was amazing to walk on the set and you would see hundreds of extras with their, I mean, with haircuts and that, and they really looked like people in the 1930s. I said, you God, this takes me back. I was transported immediately to the depression. I have I had an uncle, and I guess I'll let you go because I know you want other people. <laughs> I had I had an uncle who ran a um, he was a vaudevillian and he had circuses uh, that he ran, he owned uh, three or four tents or something like that in the south and the Midwest. And so he would, uh, you know, travel and, and go from state to state in the south and the Midwest with his circus. So when I stepped on the set, immediately I said, my God, I should be here. My uncle, yeah. Shank, <laughs> her, her uncle, uh, is looking down on me and saying, yes, you're, you're home. So that, that's a little story, okay? Good. Thank you. Oh, cool. Ken, 